Hi folks, have a relay here with an echo miser on it, economizer I guess it would be called. You can see it there. And how these work, they're quite neat. They're basically holding the current to the coil that's inside that relay. So basically when current, 12 or 24 volts, or that's what this one's rated for, 12 or 24 volts, is applied to these two wires, it's energizing the coil that's inside of here, which basically acts as a magnet and closes this contact or opens the contact, either or. Whichever type relay it is, either open or closed. Now without the economizer, the coils, they get warm to the touch over a period of time of being left on. And they'll actually get quite warm. They can burn themselves out and live a short life. Now with these economizers, that prevents that warmth from showing up. So when there's an economizer on there, you can leave this on pretty much indefinitely without any kind of heat being developed inside that coil. And what that's going to do is give this a very long life. And basically what that's doing is just holding the current. So it's not taking the current from whatever source is being applied to it. Power supply, battery, whichever. It's holding the current. So the current's going through, going through the little board here, into the coil, and then it's getting trapped. Until there's no more current here, then the current slowly releases itself from the little chips and capacitors and resistors and whatever else might be in this little circuit board here. And then it releases itself because there's not enough current to hold them contacts, either open or closed. And that's what a necromizer does. I would definitely recommend a really having that just to prevent that coil from getting too hot or too warm. Everybody knows excess heat is really not wanted and it's really not a good thing. That extra heat is a sign of something that's probably going to live short life. So if you want to live a long life in a relay sense, that's what you want to look for is an economizer on your relay. Or you could put one on the relay. Some of them come with them and some of them you can buy them and install them to the relay. Thank you for watching folks. Subscribe if you have not and thank you very much for those that already have.